My name is Zach Kaplan, and today I represent the J Way. Day 29, out with the bad, in with the good. The seminal work on Lush and Hara is known as Sefer Chofetz Chaim, the book of one who desires life, published in 1873. The title comes from a verse in Psalms. Who is the one who desires life? Who loves days of seeing good? Guard your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. If a person desires life, they should be careful not to speak Lashon Hara. This means eternal life as well as the good life in this world. It all really boils down to how you speak. The author of the book, Rabbi Yisrael Meir Kagan of Poland, compiled the many intricate laws of Lashon Hara from Talmudic sources and commentaries in order to help the Jewish people combat the difficult challenge of cleansing our communities of Lashon Hara. In the very next verse in Psalms, there is another powerful lesson of personal growth. Turn away from wrongdoing and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The verse first mentions turning away from wrongdoing and afterwards tells us to do good. The appropriate order for developing peaceful speech patterns and for many similar things is to first remove the bad and then replace it with the good. Based on this idea, Clean Speech Minnesota was created to help us remove harmful and hurtful words from our social interactions. A next step would be to fill our conversations with positive, affirming, encouraging, and complimentary words. Not only must we refrain from damaging the people around us with Lush and Haro, we should build them up with respect and positive words. Just as Lush and Hara is so powerfully harmful, speaking in a respectful and complimentary complimentary way is powerfully helpful. After all, as Abraham Lincoln once said, everybody likes a compliment. Stopping the damage comes first. Then it's followed by building and repairing. That's the formula for creating shalom. Peace. Today's daily to-do is to catch yourself before saying something negative about someone and then replace it with a compliment.